everyone. I am Thomas Ken. Uh, I'm creating a video about uh, solar with alerts, uh, alert and settings, alerts. and manage alerts. So from here, add new alerts. So uh, if we are creating uh, notes down alerts, uh, we have to put a name here. Name of the alert would be note down and description is important because uh, later on when it, when uh, we try to find it uh, it will help us uh, to understand what this alert does so i like to keep consistent with uh, the name of the alert so uh, note down alert uh, i can type Alert. This triggers triggers when the alert. I'm sorry. Trigger triggers when the when the node is down. All right. So. It has to be enabled uh, in, in order to uh, this alert work uh, and evaluation of evaluation frequency of the alert. Uh, it's going to be one minute, but we have the option to change to uh, seconds, hours. So usually uh, it's it's one minute. It's it's a default. So that says one minute like that, and we go next. All right, uh, this is a trigger condition. So I want alert on the nodes, but you know, we have options on volumes, interface, group, application, as you can see, but uh, I am working on the nodes down alert. So I'm gonna say, uh, I want to alert on node and scope of the alert. Uh, all objects on my environment, it, it really depends on uh, your choice or the organization you monitor. So only for a set of objects, if you have a couple of servers or uh, uh, nodes you have to monitor. Um, for example, if you have, if you are setting up only for um, uh, one application server or web server, you, you can say node uh, and the IP address, or you can say, the um, system name equal to, and then you can type the system name. Uh, but you know, most of the applications and the application servers, file servers, and uh, uh, really um, all type of servers, they, they need to have uh, uh, static IP address. So uh, I go with IP address is equal to, uh, the IP address of the system we monitor. So B10.0.0.15, whatever the IP address is. But, you know, uh, in this case, we do, uh, we creating the alert for the entire system. So we're gonna cancel that and go with all objects on my environment. And the trigger condition, uh, this is very important. So we working on uh, node, status because uh, we want to be alert when it's go down or up. So node status is equal to down. So which means when the node goes down, we'll get alert. Uh, we also have the, the option to uh, select this uh, condition must exist for more than 10 minutes. Uh, this, this usually, uh, is good uh, uh, for uh, volume. 
you know, sometimes uh, the CPU load and memory goes up for a few minutes and comes back to normal. So we can set this to like if this stays, if the if, if condition stays satisfied for 10 minutes, then the alerts will be triggered. But in this condition, um, uh, I prefer to leave this alone and you know, not status equal to down, then I'll get the alert and we go to uh, next. So this is a reset condition. So we leave that uh, as it is as a default because this is good. Reset this, is, reset this alert when trigger condition is no longer true, which means the trigger condition is when the node goes down. Um, that's that will not be true when the node is up. So this is good. We leave it like that and we go to next. Time of the day, always. The system has we this alert will monitor 24-7 if we leave it like that, or we can specify the time. We can add the schedule. Uh, uh we can say the business day, uh, like Monday to Friday, and we can choose the time 9 a.m. to uh 9 a.m. 9 to 5 that's what most of the offices are with their business five o'clock 5 p.m. okay mm. all right did not like that so we go to 5 p.m. uh at the time we don't need a second condition. So remove that, let that. But anyway, we're not scheduling this for a specific period of time. So we don't need this. Uh, and we choose this one. It's gonna be monitoring 24 seven. Next. Trigger action. So this is the action uh, we have to configure this uh, to send us a text or to receive email when this happens, when the node goes down, uh, what type of action we need, the text call or uh, email. So I usually put email and uh, that's a default actually. So configure that. All right, and we can we can put the uh, email address of the admin. So admin at gmail.com. Um, you get it. The message, uh, this is a subject line. So we can put uh, any subject here uh, or we can insert the variable. Uh, uh, this is the body of the message and this this also have uh, the option all all these are variables we can we can select variables from from here so we are alerting on a node so uh, we have all type of options here so i need a location location of the device Location, um, insert the value, and name. Alert name, no, the host name. Um, display name. All right. Do that next. And uh of course you have to enter the smtp server uh ip address or uh, you can if you configured uh, you can you can leave default if you have only one smtp server um, time of the day these are i leave them as a default uh, so add action and next
Do we see the action? Uh, on this action, uh, we have the option to execute external external program, uh, which means we can we can when uh, uh, we can we can execute external program. We can add uh, scripts from uh, outside uh, outside Solar Winds. We can configure that and. We can uh, let it trigger the failover action, uh, or we can we can have uh, fly sound, uh, send uh, email message again uh, or a page. So that can be configured. Uh, yeah. So I prefer this one. Uh, because you know when the node is up after you know the issue resolved uh, i like to receive the email to know the status so uh, configure that next that will take us to the summary page and this is a summary uh, so Name of the alert, notes down, type, type of property to monitor. It's a node. It's, we make sure it's on uh, every minute. Severity is critical. Uh, responsible team, we added the admin. Uh, li alert limitation category, no, there is no limitation, which means um, we, we uh, on solar winds, we have the option to limit uh, alerts can be configured on user's account. Trigger condition, uh, node status is equal to done, that's right. Uh, reset condition when the trigger condition is no longer true, when this is no longer true, okay. Looks perfect to me and submit the alert successfully. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll, uh, uh, we, we'll see how to modify the body of the alert. Thanks for watching.